everyone what is good welcome back to the channel this is silver hyena and what I've got going for today's video is another installment of art supply reviews of art supplies that I don't really need but I saw them and I wanted them so I picked them up and here we are so let us carry on these are Project Markers by Art Skills. Now then, they look like alcohol-based markers. However, when I was... I, I, like, I've looked all over the back, and it doesn't say if they're water-based or alcohol-based. I want to say that they're alcohol-based, but of course, there's only one way to really find that out. So, uh, well, um, let, let's go do that. That sounds good. Don't you just love these freaking things? Okay. Oh, oh, here, here. Let's get that aesthetically clean shot. Wasn't that satisfying? Alrighty, so we got the B marker paper got the classic set and then there's the bright set even though I did notice that like okay here let me just grab one of these like this one like it's kind of a more pastel green and it's listed as green this one is much more of a forest green and it's listed as green so yeah somebody got a little bit lazy during production anyways here's what it looks like it, it, it looks like your standard alcohol based marker got chisel and you got your bullet or fine and they are clearly labeled and if like you're holding it like this there is that little thin gray band that will tell you at a glance and despite the the before mentioned laziness at least there are names on the caps so let us just dive right in I'm gonna start the ever so thrilling swatching process I mean, like, it's a little bit streaky, but it does go down on the paper smoothly, which is always a good sign. Okay, well, first impressions are they're not... I mean, like, you know, I've used better, but they're not terrible. I think... Oh my gosh, it has been a long, hot while since I picked these up. Like, last year during back-to-school season, of course. I think I paid about maybe $5 per set, so... Overall, it's not bad, but, um, okay, well, here, let's just get the rest of these swatches done, and then we'll do some blending tests, and, yeah, we'll move on from there, so let's just get that done and out of the way. Alrighty, and there we are. Overall, the colors, they are a little on the streaky side, but hopefully with some layering, that'll solve that problem, and here, let's take a look at the back of the page. Okay, yeah, you definitely got the leak through. So these are alcohol-based markers, albeit really kind of cheap ones. Okay, there's no kind of about it. They are cheap ones. Although I do like the turquoise. I, I do like that color. That color is just mm, so, so nice. The aqua, I, I had high hopes for it, but it barely shows up. And the marker wasn't dry at all. It just doesn't really show up. And this green was a lot more blue than I thought it would be. Anyways, I'm gonna try out a quick blend test here. Wow, that kind of dominated the turquoise. But okay, so for really, really cheap markers, the blend is not half bad. And I'm gonna try it out again with the, uh, the fine tips. I'm gonna do a typical sunset colors because we love happy happy sunsets did bob ross ever say that 
I know that he liked happy trees, but I wasn't sure if he had a happy sunset or not. Hmm. I do like the sound that these make here. Okay, well, I think that the red blended into the orange better than the orange blended into the yellow. However, I want to try this with chisel tips. Because, like, the chisel tips, they blended real nice. sure I'm entirely thrilled with the blend test but these are what I've got to work with so I'm gonna roll with it make it work somehow or another anyways let us move on to the illustration okay so while these markers are incredibly cheap and they feel incredibly cheap. Once you add at least a double layer, it helps to hide the streakiness. Now, whether or not these particular markers are streaky due to being dirt cheap, or because they sat around for over a year, uh, remains to be seen. However, despite this issue, these art skills markers, uh, they're kind of okay I want to say if you're lucky enough if that's the word you want to use to get both sets that I know of you've got enough coverage to do some shading and make some things work with that being said though, blending is barely tolerable at best, and as far as alcohol-based markers go, overall they're really not that great. But what can you expect from cheap no-name markers from Walmart? Although truth be told, the Royal Langnickel Azure markers that you can find at Walmart those ones aren't half bad, so I would definitely recommend those over these any day. Perhaps if you want to dabble in alcohol-based markers without breaking the bank, you might consider these. However, I would recommend the before-mentioned Azure by Royal Langnickel, or of course, Ohuhu, over these hands down, easily. I mean, like, heck, I'd even recommend Master's Touch over these. I, I haven't tried Artist's Loft. Uh, I haven't tried their alcohol-based markers yet. So I can't say yay or nay on that one, but I, I let's just say I have a feeling. Unless, of course, you enjoy using cheap art supplies just to see what you can make of them. Like what I do. If that's the case, then go for it. Have you ever even heard of these before? Let me know in the comments below.
Okay, so for uber cheap no-name markers, unless of course Art Skills is a name, in which case I apologize. Um, they're not half bad. However, if you're gonna get some cheap alcohol-based markers from Walmart, I'd recommend the Royal Langnickel Azur over these. However, these aren't horrid. Are there better markers out there? Heck yes. But I still had fun working with them. So, I mean, like, the colors are bright. You can do some blending. So, like, like you know, like I just say that they're okay. Anyways, I certainly hope that you have enjoyed this video and that it managed to help you in some way. If it did, please be sure to leave a comment. I always love hearing what you guys have to say. Also, while we're at it, why not visit my Instagram at Silver Hyena Art. And of course, leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. With that being said, this is Silver Hyena signing off. Stay creative, everybody. Bye!